Aloha, I'm Marianne Sasaki with this Think Tech Commentary. I speak today to the millennials. You want, you need a seat at the table. It's time. Your generation, much maligned as entitled, distracted, and privileged, is facing a monumentally desperate time in our country's history. I, for one, think you're more than up for the task of transforming a society and a planet that has been scarred by greed and mistreatment, but not if you don't participate. In the 1980 election, people could not bring themselves to vote for Jimmy Carter. I remember the times well. But then we got Ronald Reagan, the architect of so much of the agenda that has plundered our country. Sitting it out is not an option. So you must join the center left of the Democratic Party and support Hillary Clinton and continue the pressure to advance your agenda. Don't forget, all through her first term, Hillary will be con considering her second. You will have quite a bit of leverage moving her administration in the direction you would like to see it go. As noted intellectual Mark Lessero has said, it is useful to keep in mind that FDR ran as a centrist Democrat in 1932. It was a hugely involved citizenry, strong unions, and a very strong socialist presence which shifted him to the left, basically by giving him no other choice but to make the concessions he did. So to the millennial citizenry I say, speak out by voting in local elections and for congressmen and senators. Speak out when the time comes to nominate a Supreme Court justice. Hold the people who hold up the process responsible and organize and vote them out. Continue the revolution and take back the country from forces that would privatize and monetize institutions and privileges that belong to the people. I understand Hillary Clinton seems an unpalatable choice, and I think in many respects she is responsible for that. But I've been watching since the early 1990s, even before. And you should remember she was on the front lines of health care, child care, and women's issues. Because of that, she has been abused and maligned by the right at every turn. So understand when you say that you could never possibly vote for a candidate like Hillary Clinton, she is in part imperfect politician, but to a large extent she is also a construct of the right. She has sustained decades of slander and spin seeking to portray her as an avaricious monomaniac set upon advancing her own agenda. I do not think that is so, and I think both of the Clintons have given more to the country than they have taken. She is not without fault, but no one of us is. I, too, was a Bernie Sanders supporter, and I always thought it was amusing that someone who was clearly such a vestige of the 60s idealism would be the one embraced by this generation. I cannot blame millennials for supporting him. Very little good has come out of the administrations in the ensuing 45 or so years that baby boomers, and I am one, have been rooting the country. We have dismantled the institutions of our country and plundered them, leaving little left for our descendants. Hillary Clinton is an imperfect leader, without a doubt, but with her we will travel in the right direction. She is our fellow traveler and we must join her on the road. And perhaps when we come to a fork in that road, you, the millennial generation, our new leaders will make better choices than some have in the past. Hillary Clinton needs you. Do not abandon her in our country. Now is the time to stand up for yourselves and for what is right and continue marching into the future. You are our hope. Mahalo, I'm Marianne Sasaki with this Think Tech Commentary.